Hi, wrestling fans. Thanks for clicking on the Dreaded D. Rose Report. I got the sun in my eyes, so if I screw up and stumble and fumble on words and stuff, it's because I, I just do. That's what I get, and that's what you get, because I don't read this ahead of time. So I'm finding out when you do. All right, we're off and running. Numerous uh, Jersey All-Pro Wrestling officials are on hand this week at uh, the Impact Tapings in Orlando. TNA Wrestling coordinates their live events with uh, the New Jersey uh, All-Pro Wrestling uh, officials when they hold shows in New Jersey. And beginning tomorrow night on Impact, Jeff uh, Jarrett will hold an open challenge where he'll pay money to anyone who can make him tap. Although uh, plants were used, some of the fans in attendance uh, believe the challenge to be legit and uh, thus the security was on hands uh, trying to you know, keep them from hopping the rails, I guess. Tara, by the way, uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about Tara later. Anyway, Tara tore a ligament, she said, in her elbow during the steel cage match against Mickey James Monday uh, impact taping. Uh, noted last night on her Twitter account that no surgeries is being required. Raw on Monday placed USA in the third and sixth place for the evening. How you could be in two different places at the same time, I, uh, unless they're talking about the two hour difference. Like, anyway, the show did hours of 3.0 and 3.29 with 4.8 million viewers uh, versus the previous four weeks, Raw was up 2%. Uh, amongst the uh, demographics of 18 to 49 demographics and uh, 5%, up 5% with the 18 uh, male, 18 to 49. The other 18 to 49 said P, so I don't know what, Terrence? I don't know. All right, uh, SmackDown, by the way, on 12-3 uh, did a 0 0.85 rating amongst the 18 to 49 demo and a 1.15 among the uh, male 18 to 49 with 2.6 million. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> SmackDown was down 10% uh, in uh, certain uh, areas, but hey, on with the news. WWE is gonna be holding a live event Friday, February 4th in Minneapolis, Minnesota at the Target Center. Uh, Pre-sale begins Friday, 10 a.m. at Ticketmaster. Uh, by the way, the pre-sale uh, code is. Don't tell nobody. Orton. WWE has posted Where Are They Now featuring on Hillbilly Jim, who discussed his run with the company in the late 80s. Shawn Michael, or shoo, Shawn Spears, by the way, who enjoyed a brief stint at ECW in 2008 as Gavin Spears, has thrown his name into the hat for an upcoming season of Tough, and Tough Enough. And apparently going to have Tough Enough and uh, NXT, which is kind of the same show in a way. Anyway, Spears was under contract with WWE for 2006-2009. I don't remember him. WWE champion The Miz is going to be hosting a show today, uh, today's episode of syndicated entertainment gossip program TMZ on TV. Yeah, check your local listings on that. They're all over the place on uh, time and channels. Chris Jericho is going to be signing an autograph of Undisputed, How to Become a World Champion in 1,372 Days, uh, Easy Steps, uh, on the day of its release, which is going to be February 16th. He's going to be at Borders Books, Broadway, New York, New York. Uh, a book signing also set for Borders in Torrance, uh, California, February 22nd. Additional dates, I'll let you know. And by the way, Randy Orton's on the cover of the latest issue of the WWE Kids magazine. Jeff Hardy, who uh, is due in court today in Monroe County, uh, Georgia, uh, Georgia uh, North Carolina. This stems from, uh, you know, of course, his drug arrest some time ago. But yeah, I'll tell you what, if something comes out of this, I'll be back on here with a, you know, extra, you know, with a special and let you guys know what happened. But otherwise, uh, haven't read a thing. I'm, and court actually should be over with by the time I'm putting this on. All right, Samoa Joe, technically, he's free and clear from on contractual obligations to TNA right now, but both parties are still in negotiation. Uh, Joe's available to work uh, the tapings this week, though, uh, should TNA want to use him. Many backstage are impressed uh, uh, with uh, Mickey James and Tara working through injuries this week. As reported, Tara had the uh, elbow problem, and Mickey James had her uh, knee hurt uh, at the Monday taping. 
It was announced uh, at last night's SmackDown taping that Alberto De Rio and uh, Rey Mysterio match at Table Ladders and Chairs uh, pay-per-view will be a chair match. I hope plural chairs would be more like them. Uh, here, anyway, here's the card so far. WWE title, Randy Orton versus The Miz. Table match. TLC match is going to be a world title against uh, with uh, Edge taking on Kane. And, of course, chairs match. Uh, Alberto uh, De Rio uh, taking on Rey Mysterio. What we got left? We got tables. Uh, uh, we got to have a ladder match somewhere. Coming up soon. Hey, by the way, a, a re-release, if you want to call it. They're re-releasing uh, a retro and uh, Andre the Giant t-shirt based off of the t-shirt that they had for him back in the 80s. I kind of like to have that. Hope it's not full size compared to him. I'd never be. I'd use that to go to sleep with him. Uh, Michael Cole, by the way, was kept off of uh, last night's NXT taping to sell RKO from Randy Orton on uh, Raw the other night. Todd Grisham took over the announced duties for the night with Josh Matthews. And in other announce, uh, announcer news, Grisham will not be commentating on this week's Friday Night Smackdown. This week's show will have a three-man team of Stryker, Cole, and Matthews. So Grisham, I don't know why that Two additional matches are taped for this week's episode of Superstars at the Nutter Center, Dayton, Ohio. Tyler Rex uh, taking on uh, JTG, Trent Beretta taking on Kurt Hawkins. Uh, matches taped last night at the uh, KFC Yum Center in Louisville, Kentucky, where Eve taking on uh, Alicia, Zach taking on Elisha, uh, Ezekiel. All right. Uh, WWE's posted videos of the rookies in uh, NXT season uh, uh, four, NXT season four, uh, introducing themselves as Brodius Clay, Byron Saxton, Connor O'Brien, Derek Bateman, Jacob Novak, Johnny Curtis. And by the way, after uh, maybe on tomorrow's uh, update, I'll give you my pick. Quick, ain't I? Probably too quick. All right. Oh, today. Former WWE diva Sunny's birthday is today. She turns 38, which I don't care. Whew, she turned 88, as far as I care. As long as she looks the way she did. Anyway, also today would have been Ravishing Rick Rude's 52nd birthday. All right, in an update uh, on Gold Dust, by the way, he said on his Twitter account this afternoon that uh, he would have surgery this weekend, but would he be out of action for five to six months? All right, comments from, uh, back to this again, Hurricane Helms. Let me get back to that. Hang on. All right, let me try and finish this up. Latest word on Triple H is he's not expected to be returning to WWE programming until January at the earliest. Of course, you know he's going to be there at WrestleMania. Uh, he's been sidelined since April with a torn bicep tendon. Oh. All right, December 4th, episode of AM uh, Raw did a uh, 0 0.131 rating, which was uh, 363,000 people. Uh, former WWE uh, Serena, she's advertised to, uh, to return to uh, Ring of Honor. If you ever haven't seen Ring of Honor, you ought to check it out on, uh, they had their pay-per-views a lot of times on the internet. Anyway, on Saturday, December 18th, uh, the company's Final Battle 2010 internet pay-per-view event. When it is, not sure how much it is either. If you guys get that, let me know so I can pass it along or leave it on the comments. Uh, she's going to be teaming with uh, Sarah Del Rey against Awesome Kong and Daisy Hayes in a tag match. Don't you love Lazy Daisy Hayes? <laughs> anyway, uh, WWE officials are looking to hold the fifth season of NXT, which is why the company's top develop, uh, developmental talent were held off of the new season premiering on Raw tonight. Uh, rather last night on uh, WWE.com. Officials are hoping that the programming will find a home on a U.S. television network somewhere. Wouldn't you hate to be on there this year just because you weren't developed enough to be on season five? It's kind of a slap in the wrist, a uh, sla slap of the uh, slap in the face. It kind of makes me want to say, Vince, I got to go. <laughs>